Hey guys, and welcome to the extended learning version for the book, The Water Princess. So here's the book again, The Water Princess. It is written by Susan Verde, and it is illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. And it is based on the childhood experiences of African supermodel Georgie Bedell. Georgie Bedell grew up in West Africa where water resources were very scarce. So she wanted to be able to bring, you know, awareness of the importance of water conservation. She has a great foundation. I will give you guys the information in my description. I will also have, you know, information from the EPA, our Environmental Protection Agency, for teachers to extend on this in lessons, but mainly for the older children for that. And then also, of course, the link to her YouTube video where she's reading the book, which I thought was super cool. So some of the ideas I have are for preschoolers because as I was doing a little bit of research on this, I'm like, hey, this would be a great concept for preschoolers to learn, but I didn't see a lot of information. So I thought about it for a minute and here's some of the tips that I have for them. So you can talk to these guys after the book about what our water you know, usages are. So things that we use water for, you can chart it, you can web it, and you can talk about like washing our hands, keeping our hands clean. You know, our parents cook with water. We bathe in water. We use water to replenish ourselves. And of course, our plants need water and our animals need water and things like that. So those are the water usages that you can web. I think that would be super cool. And you can also have them, you know, do water stations. So they don't understand that concept of, hey, when you wash your car, you probably shouldn't do it at home because it wastes too much water. Or when you take a shower, take a shorter shower. Most of these guys are getting in the bathtub anyway. But you can talk about the importance of not staying in the bathtub too long because the longer you stay in, the water cools off and then you'll need to add more water to the bathtub. So that can be wasteful. So the water stations you can have that demonstrate that that's developmentally appropriate for these guys would be you know, having a little car wash where they're washing the cars with, you know, a sponge and some soap, and then they're rinsing them inside of a container of clear water on the table. And then you can also wash the baby dolls the same exact way. So those are two different ways that they can learn those concepts without it going over their heads. And as far as conserving water, you can do things like, you know, when they brush their teeth, they turn the water off and then they rinse their mouth out afterwards. And then when they're washing their hands, they're not leaving the water running too long. Or the favorite thing of mine is not playing in the water. You're wasting water, whether it's the sink at home or in your classroom. And lastly, you can just talk to them about the importance of making sure that when they turn the water off that they're checking for leaks so you can have them become like these little junior water detectives so when they turn the water off if the water is leaking tell an adult because that is a way that they'll let them know that it has to be fixed so we can save on water so those are the ideas I have in addition to that our princess Gigi had a beautiful water you know um vase on her head so i thought it would be really cool for these guys to make some 3d vases water vases many ones that is out of maybe the crayola air dry the white um crayola air dry modeling clay and then they can paint them afterwards you guys can do a display 3d display you can have the book there you can have a message there for the parents and our visitors coming into the center that says we're learning about the importance of water conservation here's the book we chose here's our 3d art which is our mini water vases and things like that you know this is great life science it's great social studies because they're learning about Gigi, this princess from another country and another you know for this little village in africa so i think those are really cool ideas for our younger kids as far as the older kids there are so many things you guys can do with them i will have you know links for you know teachers that's working with older children if they want to explore this lesson a little further but that's all i have guys if you have anything else i would love to hear from you just make sure that you put that in the comments and as always keep reading keep exploring and i'll see you guys again on the next learning resource